Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we're in the elemental dimension. I mean, little does my friend Smirky know that I'm secretly cheating with one-way glass. Meaning I'll be able to see whatever mobs he spawns and spawn the exact counters to them. So, Smirky, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Cardi, and I'm totally gonna destroy you. And wait, why are my villagers dying? Smirky, you are so silly. We are in the elemental dimension. If you want to spot in a normal mob, you need to throw one of these four elemental potions on it. And I'm going to throw a fire potion on this knight to turn it into its fire variant. Oh my gosh. Okay, Cordy, that is really cool. And I guess now I am ready for the mob battle. All right, then let the battle begin. And like you guys just saw, these four elemental potions are going to do some insane things. Like some of these mobs are going to be crazy. And anyway, since we do have this massive one-way glass wall here, I think we should start by cheating and looking right through it. So what is Smirky going to spot in? And wait, Smirky's spotting in a bunch of zombies. These are one of the most basic mobs in Minecraft. So I'm actually really excited to see what's gonna happen when he throws one of these elemental potions onto it. And what potion is he even holding? It looks like he's holding the water potion. So that means when he throws that on these zombies, it should turn them into their ice or water variant. I don't really know, but I guess we're just gonna have to see. And wait, he's throwing the potion! And wait, look at all of these zombies! I guess this water potion turned them into, like, a frozen zombies, and these guys are a lot cooler now. But they're not really that much more powerful, because if you didn't know, every elemental potion has its counter. And since the zombies turned into ice zombies, if we can use the fire potion on a mob, we can turn it into the exact counter that will literally melt these zombies alive. And the mob I'm gonna start with is this ice iron golem because just look at this guy iron golems are such a cool mob and iron golems are already so much more powerful than normal zombies so especially when i throw this fire potion on it it should 100 percent counter these guys almost perfectly so i guess without further ado mr iron golem are you ready to turn into your fire variant well you better be ready because it's about to happen in three two one let's go and oh my gosh what did this turn into wait i gotta come around here and oh my gosh look at this thing. That iron golem turned into this giant fire nether monster golem. This thing is actually so insane and he probably has some crazy fire attacks, right? When I go in survival mode, he wakes up and wait, what kind of attacks does he have? And whoa, he's just firing out a bunch of lava and oh my gosh, this guy's gonna be so insane. I'm literally burning alive. Oh, I, I just died. This guy is so OP and he doesn't even burn in the lava. That is how powerful he is. He's literally made out of netherite and stone. Oh my gosh. There is no way this guy can't one-shot every single one of those zombies on Smirky's side. What was he thinking when he was spotting in frozen mobs? That is the worst idea possible. And anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going? Cardi, my army is going perfectly. I am spotting in some really good stuff. Wait, Smirky, what kind of mobs are you spotting in? Wait, can you tell me what mob you started with? Cardi, I guess I'll tell you because you're never going to guess what I started with. Or, I mean, you're never going to guess what it turned into because it's really cool well it is a zombie wait you started with a zombie smirky that is one of the most basic minecraft mobs ever there is no way that that turned into something good uh it's not something good it's something pretty cool let's say wait cool wait i think you're giving me a hint i think you used the water potion to turn your zombies into ice zombies Curdy, how do you know what i used and uh how do you know what they turned into what the heck smirky it's just because i am a super Super good guesser. And uh, I actually have bad news for you. Since I know you spawned in those ice zombies, I spawned in the exact counter, which is a fire lava monster. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my. All right, Smirky, and you're ready, right? I'm ready to drop the walls. Yes, I am ready. Then let's do it. And oh my gosh, my mom is waking up. Yes, it isn't. Oh my gosh, you were lying when you said you spawned in a giant lava monster. What the heck is this thing, Cardi? Smirky, this is a giant lava monster. What are you talking about? He is literally shooting out lava and your ice zombies are just throwing snowballs. They are doing absolutely nothing right now. Oh my gosh, they are doing absolutely nothing. And what the heck? He just slammed one of my mobs into the ground so easily. I know. And look at these guys. He one shot to all of them. I knew this guy would be a perfect counter, but I did not know it was going to be this powerful. Oh my gosh, it is that powerful, Cardi, because it's really strong. And oh, I guess my last mob has a chance to...
to live, Cardi. It's gone now. Smirky, what do you mean your last mob had a chance? That was easy. Look at the health bar at the top of the screen. My guy barely lost any damage. Oh my gosh. How did it not take any damage to these snowballs that my mob have? Just not do any damage, Cardi. I don't know, Smirky, but I guess we should just reset the arena because I won the first round. All right, fine. Let's do that. And there we go. I just reset the arena. But do not leave, guys, because that was just the first round. The mobs with these potions that we can spot are going to be even more insane. And anyways, I guess let's just see what Smirky's gonna spawn in. And wait, Smirky's just spawning in these tigers everywhere. Oh my gosh, tigers are such a cool mob, and they're already way better than his last mobs, which were zombies. But I really do want to see what these things are gonna turn into, and what potion is he holding? It looks like he's holding the earth potion. So that means when he throws that potion, it should turn these tigers into their earth variant, but I don't know what their earth variant would be. Maybe some sort of dinosaur? I don't know. I guess we're just gonna have to see. And he's throwing the potion! And wait, that actually worked! It just turned them all into these super crazy dinosaurs. I can't believe I guessed that 100% correct. But these aren't just any dinosaur. They are literally earth dinosaurs. Look at that. Their body is made out of dirt, and their top of them is made out of grass. Now that is really epic, but look at how sharp their teeth are. How on earth am I supposed to kill something with this sharp of teeth? Well, I think I know the perfect counter. Because the best counter for earth mobs is actually wind mobs. And the good thing for me is I have this wind potion in my hand right now. But what kind of mob should I throw this wind potion on? I don't have any idea. But I guess I'll just throw it on a villager because villagers are a super default mob so it should turn it into the most default wind thing which means it will just be the perfect counter for those earth dinosaurs. And anyways, Mr. Villager, I'm gonna throw this potion on you in 3, 2, 1. Here we go! And oh my gosh! I guess the most basic wooden mob is literally a tornado. And look at this thing. It even has these super crazy orange and yellow eyes. This is scary. It is literally like four times bigger than me and I wonder what kind of attacks it has. I just want to go in survival mode to make sure this guy will be strong enough and it looks like he's coming over to me and wait. Is he literally just spitting out sand at me? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. But what happens if I get close to him? And wait a second, I'm getting picked up by the tornado and I'm just flying around. Oh my gosh, this is an insane mob. I gotta go in creative mode before it kills me. Okay, this tornado should definitely be good enough. And those earth dinosaurs Smirky has will not stand a chance. But since this guy isn't as big as my last mob, I'm just gonna spawn in two more just to be safe. So I'll put a villager there and a villager here and throw the wind potions. Let's go! And here we go. We got all our mobs. But Smirky also has his dinosaurs and oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to win, but I hope so. And anyway, Smirky, how is your mob army going? Because mine is 100% complete. My mob army is also 100% complete. I spawned some really, really cool dinosaurs this time. Wait, you spawned cool dinosaurs? Wait, how did you get a dinosaur, Smirky? What kind of potion did you throw on them? Cordy, I threw an earth potion, but I'm not gonna tell you what I started with. Oh, Smirky threw an earth potion? Well, then I know exactly what you started with. You probably started with a tiger. How on earth do you get a tiger from an earth potion? Uh, because, Smirky, the earth version of tigers is dinosaurs? Uh, okay, Cardi. I don't know how you do that. Anyways, yeah, uh, I'm ready to drop the walls if you are. All right, I'm ready. Let's drop them in three, two, one. Let's go. And look at these mobs I have. Oh my gosh, what are these? Are these tornadoes, Cardi? Yes, they are, Smirky. And wait, look, my tornadoes are picking up your mobs and they're just flying. Wait, they're flying so high. Oh my gosh, they are flying so high. What the heck? This is crazy. I know it. They're all falling back to the ground at the tornadoes and picking them up once again. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Why can they do this? But wait, your mobs are flying again and this time they're flying even higher. Oh my gosh, you're gonna take so much fall damage. Oh my gosh, they are gonna take so much fall damage in a second. Oh no, this isn't good. And oh my gosh, they're falling. And wait, all your mobs just died. Oh my gosh, they all did just die. Look at this. There's a bunch of scales on the ground, Cardi. Oh my god. And that was actually pretty close because I only have one tornado left. I started with three, so that means two of mine died. Oh no. Oh 
my gosh. I almost won, Cordy, but I started with like 10 dinosaurs and they're all dead. I think we just need to reset the arena. Let's go. And there we go. I just won the second round. But like I said last time, don't leave yet because the mobs are just getting started. I have some crazy mobs planned. And anyways, I think we should just start off by seeing exactly what Smirky's gonna spawn. So let's look through this one-way glass and what is Smirky doing? He's holding some sort of yellow bottle, but what's he gonna do with that? And wait, did he just throw it on the floor? What is that thing? I think that is an electricity, like, potion. I, I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. But yeah, I think that's an electricity potion, and what is Smirky holding? It looks like he's holding the wind potion. So that means when he throws the wind potion on that bottle of electricity, it should turn it into a super OP flying wind mob that is electric. Okay, that is actually really smart. I didn't even think about turning items into mobs, but I guess Let's just see what's gonna happen. And he's throwing the potion. And wait, that actually worked. That turned into an electric dragon. Oh my gosh. I guess the wind potion gave this thing wings so it could fly amongst the wind. I guess that is actually pretty cool. But the thing is, this guy is super OP and he can literally shoot electricity out of his super crazy mouth. So we need to spot a mob that can knock it electrocuted at all. So I think I have the perfect idea. And the mob I'm gonna spot is an iron golem. Because I literally spotted an iron golem first round and I threw this fire potion on it to turn it into that giant lava monster. But since that went so well, this time I actually want to throw an earth potion onto this and I'm hoping it will turn into some giant wooden monster. Because if you guys didn't know, wood actually can't be electrocuted and that means it'll be the perfect counter for this electric dragon. So I'm really hoping, Mr. Iron Golem, you turn into a wooden monster because if you don't, that is actually probably going to be really bad. And anyways, let's just throw this in three, two, one, let's go! Ain't Oh my gosh, I don't even want to look up. What did this spawn in? I think this is actually a wooden monster, but I guess let's just take a look. And oh my gosh, look at this. I think this is the giant jungle abomination boss. And just look at his head. It is literally a tree. And he even has moss and grass growing on the side of his arms. This is the ultimate earth mob. And look at his face. That is actually super creepy. I wonder if we punch this guy. Is he gonna get up? And oh my gosh, he actually did. And I didn't even realize his arm is a giant rock. And wait a second, is this thing just spotting in a bunch of these mobs everywhere? What are these things? I think these are literally leaf mobs, and these are also immune to electricity, so this is really good. This is the ultimate earth army that will completely destroy that electric dragon. And wait a second, look at that electric dragon. It literally turned the ground into stone and stuff. I think it's gone crazy. But like I said, I should 100% be fine from that, because my mobs will not take any damage from it. And I think this is good. I don't even think I need to test these guys because I already know they're going to be 100% powerful enough. And Smirky, how is your mob army going? My mob army is going super duper good. Wait, Smirky, your mob army is going good? I know I guessed what your mob was the last two times, but I kind of want to guess what your mob is again. Uh, why do you want to guess what it is? Well, uh, okay, you're probably not going to guess what it is anyways. Oh, I'm not going to guess what it is? Well, I did hear you like dropping bottles of electricity on the floor, so I'm guessing you probably threw a potion on a bottle of electricity and turned it into an electric dragon. How do you know, Cardi? What the heck? Smarky, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just have really good ears. I can hear everything you do on your side of the wall. Um, okay, Cardi. Well, that's a little weird. Anyways, uh, yeah, I did spawn an electric dragon. Well, since I guessed correctly, I guess that means we can drop these walls. So let's drop them in three, two, one. And here we go. The mob battle is beginning. Let's go in. And Cardi, what the heck did you spawn? Is this a tree? Yes, Smirky, this is a tree. And you know one thing about trees is they literally cannot take damage from electricity. So your electric dragon's gonna do nothing. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, come on. Do your electric attacks or I'll hit you with this fish I'm holding. Smirky, you literally saw your mobs doing no damage to my mobs at all. And look at this. They're all just attacking it. Oh my gosh. Why isn't my dragon doing electric? And yes, it is. But, uh, Cardi, the only thing that's happening is it's turning the grass to charmed grass. I know, Smirky. Look at all my mobs. They're all just ganging up on your dragon, and this is going to be the easiest win ever. No way it will, Cardi, because you haven't even, like, killed the dragon yet, and it's not even dying yet. Ah, uh, Smirky, what do you mean it's not dying? I'm pretty sure this thing is literally gonna start dying in, like, half a second. Oh my gosh, it might. I hope not, though. Wait, Smirky, I think your mob's falling off and... Wait, did it die? I think it's died and it's falling into the void right now. Wait, that's not good. Come on, dragon. Wake up and... 
Pretty, I don't think it'll wake up. No! It is completely glitching onto the arena. And wait, it just turned into bones. Uh, yeah, it definitely died. That is so sad, Cardi. What the heck? I know. And look at all my mobs. There's still so many of my mobs here. And I think that counts as a win for me. Yeah, it probably does count as a win. I can't believe it. All right, that's working. Let's reset the arena and move on to the next round. And there we go. I just went the third round. But let's just jump straight into this next one. Because I want to spot in my mob. I have a crazy mob for this round. Round. And look at Smirky. He is just spotting in villagers. Look at all of these guys. And wait a second. I did spot in villagers in that second round. Did it turn into a tornado? So I wonder what potion Smirk is gonna throw. And it looks like he's holding the water potion. So that should turn these guys into some sort of ice or water. And wait, he's throwing the potion. And oh my gosh, all of these guys just turned into giant alpha yetis. That is actually super insane. Because look at these guys run. They are so fast. And look at their mouth. It is so big. That they can literally swallow me whole. And oh my gosh, we need to spot a good counter for these guys. But lucky for me, before this video, I tested one of my favorite mob combinations ever. It is actually a rattlesnake. And normally rattlesnakes aren't that cool. But when you get a fire potion and you throw it on a rattlesnake, it does turn it into a super crazy lava serpent. And I just gotta throw this to show you guys how cool it's gonna be. So let's throw it. And uh, I just threw that potion. And why is there a bunch of lava? Wait, where's my mob? Oh, uh, Mr. Serpent. Serpent, where are you? And oh my gosh, he's right there. Look at this guy. He is insane. And he's literally just chilling in this lava. I think the snake literally just turned into bones and now it's immune to lava. And this guy probably has insane attacks. And since this guy can literally just sit in lava, what I want to do is set my entire side of the arena into lava. So I'm going to go and select this corner. And I'm going to go down here and, and select this corner. And then I'm just going to type in the command slash set lava. And boom, it all just turned into lava. Look at this guy. He's literally swimming under the lava. And I don't even know where he went. But he is under there. And he is going to win me the mob battle. And uh, wait, wait a second. I think a bunch more spawned. And they're just jumping out the lava. This is so cool. Look at these guys. You can literally see them. Oh my gosh. There's no way I lose this now. Look how many there are. And Smokey, how is your mob army going? Gordy, my arena is going perfect. And honestly, I spawned a really good army of mobs. Ah, uh, Smokey, I know what you spawned. You spawned Alpha. Yetis! Cardi, how do you know I spawned in Alpha Yetis? Ah, uh, Smirky! Uh, I actually have to tell you why. I actually can just see the boss bars at the top of the screen. That's how I knew. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you didn't know, and you aren't cheating, right? Yeah, of course I'm not cheating. There's a massive bedrock wall here. How on earth would I be cheating? Oh my gosh, you're right. But anyways, my army is ready. All right, then let's drop the walls in three, two, one. Let's go! And I drop the walls, and look at this. I spawned in a massive pool of lava. Yes, you did. And what are these things in the lava? And wait, they're literally jumping in the lava and coming out. And this Cardi is a perfect counter to my mobs. Yeah, Smirky, this is a perfect counter to your mobs because your mobs can't even get close to them. Like, look at this guy. He's just staring in the lava because he knows if he gets too close, he is going to melt. Oh, no, you're right. And uh, Cardi, I think that's exactly what's happening because uh, they're taking a lot of damage. Do you see the top of the screen? Yes, I do. And wait, I think a bunch your mom just teleported into the lava and oh my gosh they're taking so much damage oh my gosh they are uh oh they're dying so fast they are dying so fast you're right look at the health at the top of the screen and okay it's just a matter of time before they're all burned to death oh no it is and uh Cody, i think they're dying in three two one oh uh, yeah you just counted down perfectly and let's just get rid of all this lava to see how much mobs i had left and boom i got rid of all the lava and it looks like i had one over there and one here so i means I had two mobs left. And Cardi, look, you just have one chilling in the snow over here. I know, Smirky, but I still won this round of mob battle. And you know what the next round is. Uh, yes, I know what the next round is. It's the final round, right? Yes, it is, Smirky. And anyways, let's just reset the arena. And here we go. We are on the final round, finally. This final round is going to be so insane. And I have a perfect plan. And I just gotta show you guys. But first, let's see what Smirky's gonna spawn in. And wait, Smirky just spawned of this little iguana. But what kind of potion is he holding? Wait, but look at his hand. It looks like he's flipping through every single potion. Fire, water, wind, earth, and everything. Wait, is he 
gonna throw every single potion onto this iguana lizard? I think he is, and wait, he's throwing the potions! And oh my gosh, look at this! It turned it into this crazy Godzilla mob! Oh my gosh, and look, it's just spewing out a bunch of fireballs out of his mouth! Oh my gosh, it's going to be so powerful! The only way I'm gonna be able to counter a mob this big is if I throw every single potion on one of my mobs too! And the mob I'm gonna spot is just the villager, just, you know, the normal villager. I think it'll be really cool to see what this turns into when it combines every single element. So, Mr. Villager, are you ready to turn into the most powerful mob ever? Well, you better be, because I'm gonna throw these all in three, two, one. Let's go! And, oh no, what did this turn into? It's a giant sand monster, and look at this. I think I know how this combined every element. It combined every element because it's literally made out of sand, which is the earth potion. It's flying off the ground a little bit, which means it's the wind potion. Its attacks are that it fires fireballs out, which is the fire potion. And look, it just spawned a bunch of water under it, and it just turned into a sand block. And wait, is it even more powerful now? I think that's what the water potion does. This is going to be insane, and I think I might actually be able to destroy that giant Godzilla that's just firing at this wall with his fireballs. And Smirky, yeah, you ready to just drop the walls? There is no way your mob is gonna win. Yes, Gordy, I am ready to drop the walls, because I spawned in my best mob yet, and you're just gonna lose. I'm finally gonna have a chance at winning. Yeah, Smirky, I guess we're just gonna have to see. And there we go. The walls have dropped. And do you see the mob that I have? What is this, Cordy? Is this some kind of sand monster? And what the heck is my mob doing? Why is he just, like, throwing fire into the void? Smirky, I think he is super scared of my mob. Look at it. He's not even looking at it. Oh, my gosh. What is my mob doing? Come on. I didn't spawn in a really overpowered mob for nothing. And, Smirky, I think my mob is starting to attack your Godzilla. And he's not even fighting back. Let's go. This is going to be so easy. Oh, no, it isn't. But, oh, uh, come on, Godzilla. You gotta do some damage to this guy. Not turn your back, bro. And, Smirky, what is it even doing? Uh, wait, wait, Smirky. Did your mom just die? I, I swear it's just there a second ago. I it did just die, Cardi. It literally isn't here anymore. And, look, it just dropped a bunch of this stuff on the floor. I don't even know what this stuff is. But I think that means I just won the mob battle. No way you won it, Cardi. You had to be doing something something special because there's no way you won every single round. Uh, Smirky, uh, okay, I, maybe I was doing something a little special. I might have been cheating the entire time. Oh my gosh, Cardi, I can't believe it. Yep, Smirky, I was using this one-way glass block to literally cheat. The bedrock wall was all made out of one-way glass. Oh my gosh, Cardi, I can't believe it. So on this side, it was bedrock and on your side, it was glass. Really? Yes, it was. I'm sorry. I'll give you the win, though. Oh my gosh. Gosh, let's go. Thanks everyone for watching the video. And please click the video on the screen. Bye.